Listen, you gotta focus. Focus. But what are you gonna focus on? Value cases, that's what. I'm starting to get the impression that the fall season is new case season because case manufacturers are anticipating a lot of people are releasing hardware. This is from Fractal. It's a physical talisman is a token of love. Or it's just a case. Look, if you're gonna build an inexpensive machine, there's nothing that says that you need a case. You could just run the motherboard on a box and put the extra money toward a graphics card or a better CPU or whatever. But if you're not gonna do that, this is not a bad choice. It's a combination metal and glass side panel. Yeah, it's a fancier side panel for an inexpensive case. It's just metal, there's no soundproofing. Yeah, then we got our motherboard tray, drive mounts, room for the power supply. It's just open in here. There's nothing special going on. This case does come with two 140 millimeter fans in the front. The front is a combination front and mesh dust filter, all in one. Less parts, less cost. And just because it's an inexpensive case doesn't mean that you're gonna have problems with giant oversized peripherals like our ASRock 6950XT. Look how much room you have. There's enough room for a front radiator and a push-pull fan configuration, even with our giant GPU. Well, there is no power supply shroud. There's room for a 240 millimeter radiator in the top, 360 or 280 millimeters in the front, 120, 120, 120 millimeter in the back. This case does come with the radiator offset mounting bracket so that you can get your radiator a little closer to the front edge of the computer and off the motherboard. What that means basically is if you do get a 240 millimeter radiator, that if you use the mounting holes that are on the top here, the radiator is probably going to bang against the motherboard. Whereas it would work fine with fans. You know, the radiators plus fans is thicker than just fans. So what the offset mount does is it lets you screw the, the offset mounts into the radiator and then mount the radiator in the top, but with a little bit of an offset. This case has two dedicated three and a half inch drive positions and six dedicated two and a half inch drive positions. This will work with ATX, micro ATX, and mini ITX motherboards. It has two USB 3.0, that's five gigabit uh, type A connections for the front. There is an optional type C, that's an extra kit. It's gonna be some extra money, but you can get it, it does work. PSU maximum length is 250 millimeters, but as you can see at the bottom, it's pretty wide open down there. 175 millimeters is recommended. Fractal also only really recommends a 360 millimeter radiator for the front, but you could make a 280 millimeter work. If you get a little creative, the CPU maximum height is 170 millimeters. And that's pretty much all there is. There's a place to hide hard drives in the back. Two and a half inch, three and a half inch, just two and a half inch over here. You've got options for stuff in the bottom. So you got the mounting holes here for optional accessories. It's got some pretty clever stuff for wire management that comes out here next to where your power supply is gonna be. Your motherboard's only gonna come down about this far, give or take, for an ATX motherboard. You've got some built-in rubber mounting grommets here. You know, these quote-unquote lock screws so that you can lock your hard drive in place. And some reasonable Aspect 14 fractal cooling fans. No rear fan. There is a small dust filter at the rear for the power supply, if you're using your power supply as an intake for the bottom. Of course, you can use the power supply upside down with the fan on top. That's how we did it about 10 years ago, no longer the case. In case you're wondering what the top looks like without the magnetic mesh dust filter, it's that. You can also see that our I.O. here is basically the same as every other fractal case. Now, yes, this is a value case. It's going to be even cheaper than the Pop Air. Modern CPUs require modern solutions. Things like Intel Alder Lake, well, they make a lot of heat because they use a lot of power. Cases like this have the opportunity for ample airflow, so you've got options for cooling your Alder Lake system. 
closed loop custom loop if you really wanted to but you know if you're spending a bunch of money on a custom loop you're probably going to get a higher end case but still for what it is it's not bad now even though this is a less expensive case it does feel like the powder coat on this thing is pretty thick the thumb screws are captured so you won't lose those at least for the side panels or the glass I really don't like the the side panels where there's you know stuff to lose I always lose the thumb screws and then it's like well here's two out of three thumb screws or three out of four or whatever there's a there's a little feature on the privacy glass here it's got the fractal metal thing so it, it's sort of it's a little bit of a privacy hider to hide your hide your wires but eh. boom there you go capture thumb screws Now, I'm not sure what we're going to put in it, but this is going to be one of our Devember giveaway prizes. Eventually, when Devember gets here. Maybe it'll be an empty case. Maybe it'll have an obsolete computer in it. And by obsolete, I mean like a year old. I don't know. We'll see. At Model This Level 1, this has been a quick look at the Fractal Focus 2 because you need to stay focused on good deals. Uh, they didn't. They didn't the Fractal's not even paying me. I don't, I just sent a case. It's like the cheapest case ever. But I do like Fractal, as evidenced by the number and type of Threadripper systems that I own that are in Fractal cases. And even when I order them from third parties, they still come in Fractal cases. Ah, it's, it's madness.